Hi, thanks for joining us today at Parental Playdate. Today we are going to be reviewing the Ergo Baby uh, Compact Metro Plus Stroller. Uh, so I'm super excited to open this and um, see how hard or how easy it's going to be to put together. Um, word on the street is that it should be pretty easy and then even, you know, if it, however it comes, once we get it put together, supposedly super easy, you're able to um, fold it up and unfold it with one hand, um, all while even holding your baby in the other arm. So uh, we'll see if that's true today, um, as well as go over some of maybe the pros and cons, benefits, um, things that we found um, to be, um, I guess, beneficial or different than other strollers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So it just came in a box like this, not too heavy. I think it said that the stroller itself is 18 pounds. My son will like to play in that later, <laughs> I'm sure. Actually, if you this chair. comes with um, the Metro Plus sunshade. So um, it has uh, various colors you can choose from, like yellow, emerald, green, blue, black, and we chose, I think, the dark blue color. So we'll put that on as well. Okay, well actually, this is probably ground. So there's two little cl uh, clips on the side right here. You just lift those up so far. <laughs> and I think there's a, oh, right here. This is the lever. So there's a lever right here as well. You have to undo that. I don't know if there's one on the other side. Nope, that's it. So. in a minute to actually figure out how to open it and um, that's pretty nice so where's my notes here spins over some of the main points here um it is actually very lightweight like i said it um it, it said online that it's 18 pounds but as far as pushing it right now it's very i mean effortless it seems like it rolls really well really easily um turns super easy this is a lot oh this is nice my other shore, I literally, if I'm turning the corner, I have to like lift up the back wheels. I guess I have to lock this into place too. But I have to lift up the back wheels to make sure that I'm turning the corner. So this is super nice. Um, it's great for traveling. So, um, oh, can you put that up? I'm talking to no one. <laughs> if they can't see me. There we go. Um, my lovely assistant. Uh, thank you, dear. Uh, so I heard that this is actually really, I mean, it's really one of the uh, most compact strollers that you can use for traveling. And um, they say that most of the time it can fit in um, the overhead bin on the airplane. So um, if you're thinking about traveling, this would be a great option to, um, to choose or to bring along with you. Um, it has an extendable, as you've probably seen, I've been sitting here pushing it, it has an extendable height handlebar. And this uh, 
I don't know what this is made of. I think it, I think this is like faux leather or something like that. But it's like has little, it's like perforated or has little dots here. It really makes for a nice grip. Um, and you can uh, change the handlebar settings up or down. I'm really not quite sure how to do that yet. Let's see. You can do the little tabs right here on the side. So um, I believe you lift those up if you want to change this, change it. And then once you figure out that's what you want, you can lock it into place by closing them in. So that's how that goes. So if I want to put it back down, I open it, I unsnap them outwards, push it down, and then I'll snap it back up to keep it into place. So that's nice because, you know, um, if someone's taller than you or, you know, your significant other or mom or grandma or someone wants to use a stroller, they can definitely um, change the height. And that definitely helps with posture. In my other, uh, the wagon stroller that we have, I'm always um, like leaning on it uh, like this, like walking down the street, my boyfriend gets mad at me. But um, yeah, so uh, I think this is gonna be a lot, a lot better as far as um, posture and just being able to take, you know, being able to walk, uh, I guess, efficiently, faster, I don't know. Um, okay, so, oh yeah. And the padding is also what I've heard about. So let's put this back. We'll talk about this actually. This seems a little bit clicky. So if my son was sleeping, I don't know how much I would love this necessarily. Um, because I feel like it might not be the most um, peaceful thing, but I don't think it's a big deal. Um, so maybe just have that already, you know, down or however I'm going to choose to use it. Uh, but this looks really, like, nice right here. This is really cushiony, padded. Um, it can go down into the bassinet position. So as you can see, it, I don't know if you can see right now, if you can um, show that it's in the full, um, like, bassinet position. So it's laying flat. And you have this... Um, uh, leg rest right here or foot rest that you can change and uh, it can go up if you have a newborn you can put it all the way up and it has little flaps I believe I'm not quite sure where they're at but oh right here there's velcro right here on the side so you open up this velcro I think, I think this is okay and it unfolds so you pull this out and then there's a little button right here I want to zoom in here. So there's buttons right here, and you just go ahead and button it right here on the side, I believe. I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, we'll just do the top one for now. There we go. And so that kind of gives it more like safe, kind of comfortable enclosure. I don't, I don't know. I could... Okay, well, I'll leave that off for now. But, anyways, so as you can see, I can do it to the other side, and it's like a full, um, you know, fully enclosed, which I think is really nice. I want to like jump in it and have like, a little cozy, like. Uh, it seems like a little fort or something. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's fun. And then you can unsnap it if you don't want it on there. And I don't know how to restart, reset this. Oh, okay. There's buttons right here on the side. Every question I'm asking is like a very intu intuitive, this roller, I will say. So, if you want to see right here, um, there's buttons right here on the side of the footrest. And you just push those in to let it, let it, um, to reset it, like to put it down if you want to put it down. Okay, cool. And then here's the um, seatbelt itself. It looks really, wow, really safe. <laughs> so it's the little circle right here. And you undo it. And it looks like these are the arm straps. And here's the, you know, what goes right here in the middle. You can, I don't know what this handle's for necessarily. What is it? Oh, when it folds up. Okay, yeah. So I guess this handle right here is for when it folds up. Um, that's what you would pull on. But yeah, so you can also um, turn this around if you want to put your baby in the sitting position and move it from the um, bassinet position. You go here in the back and you pull these cords right here or pull this strap. And so when you put, you just pull it like so. And I know this because I have another stroller that you do this with. Uh, you know, you can do it tighter if you want. But just for today's purposes, voila. And now you have the sitting up baby. So very cool. And... Okay, let's see what else I wanted to go over. Uh, oh yeah, so it is great for newborns, but it can be used really with you know any age. I think it's up to 50 pounds is like the recommended weight limit. And um, I'll just squat down so you can see it's fine. Um, let's see. Um, oh, the wheel, the suspension in here, it has spring suspension. So it makes it for smooth riding over like gravel or, um, you know, bumpy roads. I, I have a lot of trees where the roots are coming out of the ground. So, um, you know, I don't think it'll completely, you know, make those go away, but it will help, I'm sure. And so the, uh, 
the wheels are also uh, polyurethane rubber, and so um, I think that helps with the, um, the terrain as well. Um, unlike my other strollers, this just has one brake. So in the back, um, I don't know if you can see it, it's right here in the middle. Thank you. It's right here in the middle. You can push it down and there's the brake. Or you just push it up and then you're ready to go again. And you can see the undercarriage as well. So um, let me pull up the seat right here. I don't know if you, how well you can see it if you want to bring it down. Uh, this is about how much space you have. And um, let's go from the front right here. So it's nice. Um, I'm trying to think, I could probably get, oh, I have a ruler, I think right here, I'm get this. Okay, so I got the ruler, we'll see how, um, how much space there is right here. It looks like, okay, so once you get like completely under there, I can't even fit the whole ruler. I mean, you can if you stretch it out, but it looks like it's probably about, you know, 10 inches, 11 inches, like in the middle. Um, but if you come out here to the front, we'll do that. And it looks like it's, a, yeah, it's about probably close to 10 inches, but I would say a little bit under as far as space goes. So, you know, whatever you're storing under here, you can't really store a whole bunch of like grocery bags. Um, or you can if they're like, you know, lightly packed or whatever. Um, I'm trying to squeeze here into the picture. But um, yeah, so, and then across, that's your cue to maybe make it higher. Um, so, it's like lift up the camera. <laughs> So, um, what? What maybe? So, then across right here, it's like 12 inches. So, I mean, well, actually not even. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, you know, not the biggest, but not the smallest either. either. Um, so, I think that'd be, you know, practical. And then I know in the back, they have a, a pocket. Um, okay. Well, they have a pocket right here. I'm going to show you again here down here so you can store your little you know your whatever your keys or phone um, it doesn't stretch out that much so as you can see that's about how much it goes out there and again you don't want to put too much lumpy stuff in there because then that goes against your baby's back but the padding really seems like it would probably you know make it so it was not so um, noticeable okay let's see what else Oh yeah, um, the seat cover can be easily removed. For, so if you need to spot clean it or whatever, it can um, easily be removed and done. Um, and uh, let's see, you press, oh, to close it. Um, well, actually, okay, I wanted to go over this too. I was told, or actually you saw this on someone else's video, um, that if you're trying to balance, um, I, a lot of times I have like the carabiners or little hooks on here so I can uh, like put my bags or if I'm shopping, like store grocery bags on here. Um, but sometimes the weight of those can be pretty heavy. And so depending on how heavy your child is, you want to really be careful about how much weight you actually put on the stroller because potentially, you know, if you, if it's unbalanced and you have a whole bunch of weight back here and your baby's, you know, just brand new, it could potentially pull the stroller back and then, you know, it's, again, it's pretty cushioned, but it's still dangerous. You know, obviously, you don't want your baby to fall and hit his or her head. So um, you really want to be careful about how much weight you put on here. But I think with the handlebar in the lowest position is the best way to do that if you're going to be storing a lot of bags. So is this in the lowest position? So that would be because it's a little bit more closer to the ground. So the um, I'm not really quite sure what the correct terminology is, but the um, the base, it just, you know, the, the um, oh, gosh, it's going to drive me crazy. But um I can't think of it, but anyways, yeah, so it's going to basically make it so that it's balanced and so it's not going to, it's going to be less likely that it would tip over versus if, you know, I pull this all the way up and you would think, okay, well, this seems like a, like a wider um, center of gravity, you know, like the center of gravity is a little bit wider, so you have a bigger stance, but instead it's actually making it a little bit more likely that it would tip over because it's kind of spreading out that, um, that weight versus the compact weight down here. So, yeah, so just be careful about that. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to fold it up and we'll measure it once it's folded up. So that way you can see, okay, if I want to store this under my bed, um, you know, is my is that area big enough for me to store it? If I want to store it under a dresser, can I store it there in the closet, etc. So we'll go ahead and measure that here in a second. And um, I think that's it. So um, again, this is my, um, oh, let's see, four different heights. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think I already said there's four different heights for the handlebar. And like this is my first time ever opening um, oh, I forgot. We have the canopy that we want to put on. Ta-da! Okay, so we're going to try to put this on right now. I don't really know how 
or at least we'll look at it. We'll just look at it and see how this works here. So we chose the blue. I thought it wasn't going to come with one to begin with at all. I thought we were going to have to install this ourselves or attach it or whatever. Um, but it's nice we have options. We have the, the black if we choose. But I wanted a different color because I was thinking, okay, if we go to somewhere like a public place or something and we have the stroller out, I don't want it to blend in with other people's strollers, um, you know, and somehow someone mistakenly takes ours. So I was like, okay, let me get a different color. Um, I'm thinking even more, maybe more of a brighter color would have been better just so it sticks out that much more. Um, but yeah, so here's the blue. Here's the instructions right here, actually. So... This is not my um, department necessarily, but it looks pretty easy. It looks like I just take this off. Maybe you can unsnap this. You want to look at this, babe? It looks pretty easy. You just unsnap it and uh, pull these up right here. Unzip the mail. What? Unzip it and clean mail. Just, yeah. So you unzip it right here, and then you unsnap this right here, and then you just, what do we do? It looks like there's a cord. So what's it say to do? Looks like there's a cord around this little thing right here. So do you see this tab? So that's where the cord is, so what's it say to do with that? Okay, I see. So you pull up on this thing. Okay. And then you unzip it here on the actual stroller. I'll do it. It's okay. We don't want to break it. It's got it. Okay. That's zipping it back up. Okay. So this is zipping it, unzipping it. We're all learning together here. Okay. Uh, but as you can see, it's really easy. I mean, we're learning right here, and it's, I can't believe how pretty easy this is. Okay. Um, and, other way, okay, are you sure? I don't think so. Like how I had it, yeah, you told me the other way though. So, then I put these things right on here, I'm guessing, right there? Okay. okay, look at that. And then I think there's a zipper, I'm guessing, yep, there's a zipper. So, you'll... Uh, line it up with this zipper. I don't know if you can see right here, but there's two zippers, and it's okay. I mean, you'll see, but you just zip it up like you're zipping up a pair of pants. You put the two together, or a jacket or something, and let's see. There we go. Wow. I feel very, like, capable today. I'm like, this is really cool. I mean, I know you're helping me very good. This is cool. So now we have the nice blue color. And it's now taking the place of the light. And look how much it comes down really quite a bit. So if it's raining out, which we live in Oregon, and it rains a ton. So this is nice. It'll really shield um, him from the side, you know, and the front. So, um, yeah, I think this is it. Okay, and so we also had another bag in the um, in the box, which we didn't realize right away. And it came with a plastic cover. So we're like, whoa, what's this? They must know we live in Oregon. It's a rain, it's a um, rain cover. For our store, so we're super excited about this. This was completely unexpected. We have one already, but it's not nearly this, like, one, um, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, compact, okay? Um, so that goes along with the theme here, compact stroller, but yeah, and the the, um, the plastic's super nice and, um, you know, foldable. It's not all big and bulky like our other one is, and uh, yeah, it's just super nice, and it's made specifically for the stroller, which is, it seems like it at least, I'm sure it is, and so yeah, so we just opened it up. And in the back here, there's uh, it's connected with two uh, spots of Velcro on each side. And so this just goes over the front, like so. The longer part goes in the front, and then the shorter part of the cover goes in the back. And you have these little breathable mesh um, sides right here. Um, yeah, thank you. So you take the longer part, you can cover the front right there, and it completely covers the baby. So, I mean, that's really nice. Usually we'll have some openings on the side or something, and... Um, there's always, you know, some little rain that gets in, but this looks really well covered. You have the mesh um, breathable fabric right here, or material, and then in the back right here, like I was saying, you have the, um, the uh, Velcro, so you can undo this Velcro, and you can reach the handlebar 
sits you there. I'm sorry? Sits you there. Once you do that. Oh, okay. Oh, once I undo the Velcro, it sits better on the stroller, is what he was saying. But yeah, so once you undo the, the um, Velcro, you can grab the handlebars a little bit easier. It, ta -da. And we're going to fold up the stroller and measure it. So, okay, I'm not sure if, these have, if the um, footrest has to be down or not. Probably. And then it looks like this handle here was to close it, but I think there's also a handle on the back handlebar. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to put this down. I, mean, I don't know if I want this in the place or not. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but push this. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's good. I don't think that matters. Okay. Well, we don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, so, it is easy. I knew that I couldn't get through this without not knowing something, without having, struggling with something. But yeah, so you, wait, what do you do? You push right here, so I can show everyone. You push to the right, mm -hmm. and then push this in. Okay, so on the handle right here, right here, you push this to the right. It will look like the left you, but you push it to the right, and there's another button right here, and you push that. And then you fold it, you fold it forward. Okay, and then, and then what? Use the handle. Hold on, I want to put this down. Okay, um, use this handle? Why? What do I do? Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So, it is much easier than I just made it look. But, um, yeah, so now it's all folded up again. Oh, and then there's a handle right here. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, and then also you want to make sure that you put that little lock down on the side, um, well, you don't really have to make sure, but right here. So you can always attach it and not make sure that it doesn't come, uh, you know, spring open. So as far as measurements go, um, height-wise, I wrote this down earlier, and I believe it's um, 21 inches uh, high, so or 54 centimeters, um, which seems about about right, according to my trusty ruler right here. It's very um, accurate, I'm sure. And um, But uh, really, according to the um, website, this is the correct <laughs> the correct. Uh, measurements and then across is 44 centimeters or 17 inches which yes it does seem 12 plus 5 yep correct um and so their math checks out <laughs> at ergo baby and then um uh, on the side right here is nine inches wide okay and or um 25 centimeters so if you're thinking about you know where you want to store it you might want to take those uh, measurements into consideration and um, yeah that's it so if you have any other input or questions or anything like that, please feel free to comment or like our video, um, subscribe, uh, and we are really appreciate you joining us today, and have a great day. Thank you.